Next Generation begins in holiday of 2020, and there's plenty of hype surrounding PlayStation 5. Though, a big question is, of course, what's the price point, and how many units will be available at launch, and uh, will people who want to buy this thing day one be able to get their hands on it? How much of a struggle will it be to uh, actually buy one of these consoles without them immediately selling out? Well, uh, as far as price point goes, that's still up in the air. But when it comes to Sony's production plans for PlayStation 5, there is an update on that front. Now, some time back, it was reported that Sony was planning a limited output for PlayStation 5. It was stated right here that Sony Core plans to produce far fewer units of its upcoming PlayStation 5 in its first year than it had for the previous generation console's launch, according to people familiar with the matter. And then the article added here that 5 to 6 million units were estimated to be shipped for PlayStation 5 in the fiscal year ending in March of 2021. And by comparison, PlayStation 4, when it launched in November of 2013, sold 7.5 million units in its first two quarters. And part of the reason why they were limiting production was because they didn't expect as high a demand due to the high price at launch that the PS5 could fetch, predicted at, you know, between 500 and 550 dollars by sources familiar with the PS5's production. But Sony's outlook on PlayStation 5 has seemingly been shifting more on the positive side of things, as two outlets report that Sony is ramping up production for PlayStation 5 significantly as demand for the console grows. They recently showcased more of the controller, they showed off the console, the box itself, and there was plenty of hype surrounding that, and also they announced some games like Horizon, uh, Forbidden West, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, the new Ratchet and Clank game, all of which have people pretty excited about the prospects of PlayStation 5. And so, with all the hype surrounding the console, Sony decided that instead of launching roughly 6 million units uh, in spring, they raised production orders for its upcoming PlayStation 5 to around 9 million units, according to news outlet Asia.Nikkei. Another article on the topic was released by news outlet Bloomberg, whose headline reads, Sony boosting output of PlayStation 5 to meet surge in demand. It reads right here, Sony Core is roughly doubling its PlayStation 5 production to 10 million units this year as it sees the prolonged effect of the COVID-19 pandemic boosting demand for gaming, according to people familiar with its plans. So we went from 5 to 6 million to 9 million, according to Asia.Nikkei, and now Bloomberg is saying it might be even more than that at 10 million units. It's almost double the production than what was originally planned, suggesting that demand for PlayStation 5 is high due to the positive marketing vibe surrounding it. And also the fact that the pandemic is causing people to stay hold up at home. And just in general, demand for video games as a whole has been at an all-time high recently with Switches uh, kind of no longer being available to buy at retail, kind of sold out everywhere. And uh, a lot of consoles are just in general... Uh, seeing an uptick in sales and with PlayStation 5 happening amidst all of this uh, there are going to be plenty of people out there who will want to entertain themselves while they're holed up at home on top of the fact that PlayStation 4 did so well this generation that a lot of people are very curious to see how Sony handles PlayStation 5 and what games they release for that console. So just all around, a number of circumstances have caused PlayStation 5's production to be ramped up significantly because demand is significantly more than Sony initially anticipated way back when. Now it should be noted that while production is being ramped up to 10 million, whether they can deliver on all those 10 million units by year's end, by the holiday season, well, that remains to be seen. As noted by Bloomberg, logistics may yet pose a challenge to delivering all those machines on time for the holiday shopping season, the people said, asking to remain anonymous. Scrolling further down, the article adds, even with a boost to manufacturing, Sony may still be unable to put enough units on store shelves in the coming year and holiday season due to shipping restraints, the people said. With the pandemic still looming at large, shipping has been disrupted quite a bit around the world, so that might lead to Sony being able to make 10 million units, but have to trickle those in at a maybe slower pace 
than uh, if the pandemic wasn't going on. The article adds that a large portion of Sony's consoles are made in China and sent out via sea around the world. It takes months for shipments to travel from China to the US and Europe via ocean lines. So with all these factors at play, the expectation is that Sony will be able to assemble 5 million units by the end of September and another 5 million between October and December. A large portion of the latter trench would turn into stock for 2021 due to the logistical delay. Sony could try to use air cargo for faster delivery as it did in 2013 around the launch of the PlayStation 4. Though airlines are running vastly reduced schedules due to COVID-19 and Sony's ability to reserve flights would be limited. So they'll have 10 million units made by the end of the year, but many of those units won't ship until 2021. Which means that uh, even though manufacturing has been doubled, there might be a good chance that stock will still be limited. So if you really want to get PlayStation 5 on day one, you'd be prudent to be on the lookout for exactly when those pre-orders go up and snatch those up as soon as possible because I get the sense that PlayStation 5 will very quickly sell out. And I have little doubt that there will be scalpers who are going to try to secure as many PlayStation 5s as possible and exploit the high demand to sell PlayStation 5s on eBay at a higher cost for a profit. Now Sony is going to try their best to limit scalpers ability to do this by quote limiting one PS5 per household, one pre-order per household. This is something that was discovered by looking at the source code of the PlayStation Direct website by Reddit user K Garvey. And here's IGN screenshot of that. And there's an excerpt that reads, you can only purchase one version of the PS5 console, disc or digital. You have already added one PS5 console to your cart. So that's the error message that pops up if you try to buy more than one PlayStation 5 from PlayStation Direct. And you cannot get one disc version and one digital version. Uh, they both count as part of the same pool. So you have to choose one or the other if you're purchasing from PlayStation Direct. And I suspect it might be the same for other retailers as well. Now, if you purchase PS5 from multiple storefronts and retailers, then you can get multiple PS5s that way. But in the same store, you'll be limited to just one purchase per household. There are ways around this, and there's no doubt scalpers will still be a thing. But, uh, you know, it helps mitigate things. And if you really do want a digital version and a disc version or get two PS5s for your household, uh, you know, you can purchase PS5 from different stores. Something else that was discovered by the Reddit user is how Sony's starting to label certain games as PS5 compatible, as you can see right here. So Days Gone is going to be one of those games that you can just insert the disc, the PS4 disc on PS5, and it'll just work. And I'm assuming same thing will go for most, if not all, uh, first party titles for PlayStation 4. And uh, I suspect plenty of third party developers will, will join in the fray as well and try to ensure the transition from PS4 to PS5 is smooth so that a lot of games are backwards compatible. But uh, at the same time, Sony didn't say every single PS4 game will be backwards compatible or forward compatible, that PS5 will be able to play all PS4 games. They did say the vast majority of the big games on PS4, the best-selling ones, um, but uh, you'll have to be on the lookout for this label to know for sure whether a game that you value on PS4 will be accessible and playable on PS5. Now, I think a big part of how much demand there is for PlayStation 5 will depend on what games it's launching with, and I think it's pretty damn safe to say that Spider-Man Miles Morales is going to be a launch title for PlayStation 5. It's coming out in holiday of 2020, right around when PlayStation 5 would launch. So I suspect this is going to be a launch title, and that's a strong title to launch with. And so I suspect demand will be a decent amount, and I do suspect we're going to see PS5 sell out very quickly. And with Miles Morales being sort of the big launch game with not a lot of competition, I suspect that a lot of people are going to get Miles Morales with their PlayStation 5 purchase. So I suspect the game's going to do very well, sell a couple million copies. But I digress. Bottom line is, there is now a greater chance that you'll be able to purchase a PS5, but due to the trickling of the 10 million units that are being manufactured by the end of this year and how shipping restrictions is causing many of those units to trickle into 2021, I still suspect that, uh, you know, 
on day one, if you really want one on day one, you want to you want to pre-order and you want to be on the lookout for when pre-orders go up. So that's that, ladies and gentlemen. That's everything you need to know about Sony's output plans for PlayStation 5 and how they're adapting to the surge in demand. Let me know in the comments below whether you're getting PlayStation 5 on day one or whether you're going to wait until the library of games is bolstered and until other people test out the console and make sure everything's A-OK -okay in this launch period. Drop a comment below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.